Dear students, in the last module, we have discussed about intelligent agents in artificial intelligence. And today, we will be focusing on research methodologies of intelligent agents and overall in the artificial intelligence. So, in fact, as you know that intelligent agents is the main thing uh, to be developed for implementing artificial intelligence in different systems. And there are two groups. One is the practitioners and the other are the theory theoretical people. So the practitioners are trying to make that everything should work fine, whether it's a small contribution. However, the theoretical persons always try to advance the field in artificial intelligence. So the AI domain can be pursued along two paths, as we discussed the engineering track and the theoretical track. So in the engineering track, researchers are trying to develop systems that exhibit intelligent behavior. And that intelligent behavior has already been existed in the theoretical research. And they are trying to implement that behavior in a perfect way. And that is performance-oriented methodology. So normally the behavior which is known to the AI field even for example um, since the last 10 years. So if that is not implemented in a robust application. So the task of engineer is to implement this thing into that particular system with proper way. And the theoretical persons could not be uh, satisfied, they are not going to be pleased to see the implemented research that was actually available in theory in 10 years ago. So the engineer track is to produce a product that meets certain performance goals. And theoretical track is researchers are trying to develop a computational understanding of human intelligence. And it leads to a stimulation oriented a simulation oriented methodology. So they are uh, inventing something, they are advancing in the knowledge of artificial intelligence and then they are checking whether it is perfect or not in a simulation environment. Because the underlying goal is to expand our understanding of intelligence and thus the emphasis is on underlying process rather than the exterior performance. Example, linguistic versus NLP. So in linguistic, our interest, linguistic people who are doing research in linguistics are interested in learning how humans process language and thus tend towards more theoretical pursuit. So how human can process that language. However, the group of natural language processing are interested in developing machines that can understand the language of human and to what extent they can understand. Building, for example, uh, if you want to build a shell for an operating system, the goal is receive instructions from the outer world through verbal English commands and shell need not to be aware of English language as per the engineering or programming guy they are expecting and they are not interested that this particular uh, agent should be able to know all of the meanings of copy. For example, whether it's a verb, it's a noun, what? So this is satisfactory for the engineer. It can uh, distinguish command of copy, paste, find, search. So these commands can be distinguished, that's it. However, this is not aesthetically pleasing to a theoretician. So the theoretical persons are not very pleased from this. They want that this agent should be able to distinguish this, 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 even outside of the domain of that particular problem. So let's summarize today's smart fuel. We have learned about AI research methodologies. What are the engineering tracks and what are the theoretical tracks? And we have seen different examples to demonstrate both of the interest of both of the tracks.